Hi guys, Mary here. Um, I realize it's been a while since I recorded a video, but um, I had some issues last week with um, some medications, um, some interactions. Um, I was not well and um, was unable to do any readings. So I apologize that my November readings are not out yet. Um, what I'm going to do is record them in the next couple of days and I'll do November 15th through the end of November. Um, I apologize that I couldn't get the um, full months out, but I was not able to. Uh, yesterday was my first day back at doing readings. So for those of you who um, allowed me to reschedule you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a uh, it's a funny business. You have to really be at your best in order to read for people, and I definitely was not. <laughs> okay, so I just want to thank you for staying with me. Um, the retreat is still going forward. There's still two more openings. If anyone would like to sign up for the Be The Light retreat here in Calabra, it is February 21st through the 26th. Just go to my website, thelighthousemedium.com. All right, so um, I'd like to do a reading for you for the energies. They are very strong on the planet right now. And we are living through very polarizing times. The pendulum is swinging in that direction of um, unbalance, I guess you could say. So the pendulum's swinging way up here. Um, as there's more light on the planet, as more people are waking up, the darkness is trying to creep in. So um, they're trying to get you to be in fear. So try to, as you all know, stay off media. Um, try to love your friends and your family and the people around you. Try to be the, try to be or emulate what you want the world to be. Um, it's going to start with each and every one of us. Try to keep shining your light. Spend some time in meditation. Really imagine your um, light coming from your heart, kind of surrounding the earth, if you can imagine that. Send love to the planet. Um, imagine your solar plexus light, which is that yellow chakra. Just imagine that shining out from you and try to shine your light in the world. Um, and also do whatever you can, you know, in 3D that you can. <laughs> you know, we're still here in 3D playing the game, right? Um, so I know it's difficult. Um, just being back in the States, back in traffic, back in... It really pulled me into 3D, I have to tell you. It's, um, it's easy for me to sit here on my island um, where I'm not dealing with a nine to five job. I'm not dealing with traffic. I'm not dealing with, um, let's face it, I'm not dealing with shootings here, at least not yet. God help us if, <laughs> if there's shootings here. But um, I guess my point is I understand that it's not easy to um, increase your vibration and try to live in this five, fifth dimensional reality all the time. You get sucked into 3D. It's what's happening right now. The new earth is here. You can live in that consciousness if you choose to. It takes some work and dedication. It takes a spiritual practice, even just something as simple as lighting a candle each day and having some quiet time. Um, but it's worth it if you can try to do that. Um, but the reality of the situation is that um, we are we can be sucked into the third dimension so just do the best you can it's um this is a process that we're going through you know you hear of an event as um, a specific date or time but that's not what it is it's a process um, things will get better you just have to keep the faith <laughs> um all right so let me pull some cards and we'll see what spirit has to say for us spirit please show us any guidance for today Anything that we need to know. 
higher power. So this is your higher power. This card is a, a nod from spirit, um, wanting us to go, go within to our, um, our higher power. So it's my belief that we are all part of God. We are all fractals of source energy or God. And um, we are each divine beings and we are our own masters. But spirit wants us to know that if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling hopeless, if you're feeling down and, and you just feel like everything is crumbling, just know that the universe has a higher perspective on everything that's going on and there's a plan. And you can call on the angels, you can call on God, Jesus, Mother Mary, whatever it is to you, source energy, the divine, reach out for help and let it go. Give it up to God. Um, I know that's not easy for everyone to do, um, but give it a try. You don't have anything to lose. Um, but I went through a very rough week and I had to really go inside. Um, I basically hibernated and um, I called on my angels because I was in a deep hole. So um, I had to You know, I had to call on my angels and call on God, but it didn't happen right away. I had to wait. I had to wait for it, and I did. And um, and the light finally shone for me. Um, and there's a lesson to be learned for that, from that, for me. And um, when I figure it out, I'll I'll get back to you on that <laughs> of what this week was for me, but. Um, call on your higher power. Lean on God. Lean on the angels. Lean on source energy. Um, Spirit wants you to know that you do have a deep inner knowing. Everything that you're looking for is on the inside, but you have to sit with yourself in quiet meditation and contemplation. You won't get all the answers from the outside. All the answers are from within you. Um, it's number 43. And we got the number four for um, this card, and that's all about foundation. So know that you have a solid foundation, um, and 43 uh, adds up to seven. That means that you're on the right path. We're on the right path, guys. Um, and three is all about expansion. So we are on the right path towards soul expansion, towards um, humanity's evolution. That's what all of this is about. It's, if you get mired in the chaos, it can be really overwhelming. If you try to have that deep inner knowing that this is all happening for a reason, things are crumbling that don't serve us, personally and also on the world stage. That's what's happening. If you can trust in that, it will really help you in, in these days. Uh, if you try to stay in that 3D level of consciousness, um, that dog-eat-dog -dog world, it's going to be difficult, much more difficult. So try to raise your vibration through joy, through gratitude, through loving your neighbors, your friends, your family. Um, try to find um, periods of joy in your life. Try to stay in the moment. Um, be in nature as much as you can. Drink as much water as you can, as much healthy water, filtered water, as you can possibly um, drink. That's really important to stay hydrated. Um, if you're fatigued, get some rest. Um, our bodies are changing. Uh, while we sleep at night, we are being downloaded. Um, our body systems are being changed uh, as we move to a higher level of consciousness into our light bodies. So we're basically integrating into our light bodies or our higher self. Um, this is Archangel Uriel. It's no coincidence that as I talk about shining our light and if each one of us on the planet tries, you know, shines our light as a collective that will help to dispel the fear, the fear that they want us to feel um, with the media with the politics, everything. They just want us in that fear state so that they can
feed off that energy. Um, and that's, it's, it's um, spiritual warfare going on right now. There's no other way to say it. It's happening. And um, just be aware of it. Try to shine your light. As um, these energies come into the planet, um, you're going to feel feelings coming up that need to be purged and healed. You may have to look at your shadow side, which is what I had to do this week. Um, it's not all love and light, guys. Spirituality is not all love and light. Sometimes you have to look at what triggers you. But if you have that awareness, um, that's the ticket to moving forward in a more positive way. So shine your light. Shine your light, your, your um, solar plexus chakra. Try to shine your light, um, breathing in and out through your heart. Um, just imagine light going out to the planet, to all humanity. If you feel hopeless, light a white candle. Put your intention for the world out there. Every little bit helps. Every prayer helps. It helps. <clears throat> there was a gentleman that we prayed for as a collective from this channel who's doing very well. Um, he had brain surgery, and you guys all prayed for him, and he's doing much better. Prayer works. Um, Find a spiritual practice, whatever that means for you, and it will really help. Um, that's 12 minutes. I'm going to pull a card from Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. And I think this is a great card to end on. It's faith. It's easy to have faith when things are going well. It's a lot harder to have faith when things aren't going so well. But that's when you need it most. Okay, guys? Um... It says, faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and with others. See the light in the world. See the light in the world. You are the light. Thanks for watching. I love you all, and um, I will see you next time. Take care.